I was exploring around a particularly inhospitable stretch of desert on Google Earth when I found something. Protruding from the ground was this massive rock formation. Something about its appearance seemed very out of place with the surrounding landscape. So, Tui and I set off into the desert to try to find it. And when I finally climbed onto the top of it, I discovered that this object was far more incredible than I ever could have imagined. Come on, buddy. Let's go. This area is really geologically fascinating because it used to be underwater. Everything that we're walking upon is an ancient seabed. So because of that, this whole land is rich in fossils. You can see a shell right in the sandstone. So we're kind of following a trail right now Then we're gonna branch off and go find things off of the trail. This place is wild. From 5 to 12 million years ago, this area was covered by a shallow inland sea until the San Andreas Fault pushed this expanse of land upwards, causing the water to retreat to what we now know as the Gulf of California. When this happened, the seabed was frozen in time, dried up, transforming from a vibrant home to billions of organisms to one of the most desolate parts of the American West. Check it out. Look at this. All right, I think we're about to see it. There it is. That's the rock formation that we found on Google Earth. It is really strange looking. I don't even know how to describe it. I can't even, it's filled with so many holes and cavities. And then all the rocks around it are just as interesting.
Wow. What you seeing, buddy? So the pictographs I've seen in this area, they oftentimes are drawn into the overhangs on the underside of the rock overhang. So you have to go inside of it and look up to see the pictographs that were left there. Whoa. Now these caves are created by wind. Imagine there's a small indentation in the rock and then the wind over thousands of years scoops it out more and pelts it with sand and dirt. Eventually that scoop gets bigger and then it catches more wind. And it's due to how crumbly the sandstone is that it's full of these wind caves. All right, I'm gonna go check out the top. What is that? Wow. There are some organisms that were fossilized in this rock that are now eroding onto the surface. Look at that. As a reminder, we are walking on an ancient seabed. All of the sandstone used to literally just be sand on the seafloor, filled with life and organisms. When the ocean dried up, everything was left behind here. So you are literally looking at species that have lived in the bottom of the seafloor. I've never seen anything like this. They've all still got an amazing shape. What I am looking at are possibly the fossilized pathways made by burrowing tube worms through the sand. And this is possibly the stem of a giant coral. Based upon what I'm seeing here, we can reasonably assume that I'm walking upon what used to be one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the entire world, an ancient coral reef. Wow, this is one of the coolest things I've found from a geology perspective. It's a reminder how much our earth is changing constantly. I mean, I could not imagine a landscape more different from the ocean. Look at this. This is just a giant pile of these tubes. So apparently one of the craziest things they found here that they found a, uh, a camel bone here. So there used to be camels in North America. They were all wiped out during the massive extinction event 12,000 years ago. But they found camel bones in the sandstone here. So delicate. That almost looks like a vertebrae. I don't think it is, but that's pretty wild looking either way. The entire top stretch of this sand dune is like a museum for ancient petrified sea life. What do you think, Tui? Unbelievable, so cool.
Almost all of these fossils are the remnants of species that went extinct millions of years ago. However, their descendants live on in the ocean hundreds of miles from here. The ocean sand is home to billions of organisms and phytoplankton. Their tiny shells and the tunnels burrowed out have now been replaced by minerals. As the sandstone erodes away, these fossilized shells will become exposed to the air and dissolve into sand to become one with the desert. But their story does not end here. The dissolved fossils, worn down by erosion, will one day be picked up by the minuscule amount of rainfall that lands here, and from there may join a larger stream of water until it finds its way, once again, back out into the ocean. The calcium or minerals from these fossilized creatures may rejoin the living ocean to create new shells, and once again, become a part of the vast ocean ecosystem. Mylar balloons, happy birthday. Somebody let this get away and these Mylar balloons never decompose. Somebody's gonna get a big dinner tonight. Yes, you are. Sometimes you find rocks that almost look like a piece of meat, like this thing. Oh, 
Look at the marbling. Nice and pink and like medium rare in the middle. Nice little sear on the outside. I'm hungry. It's been an epic adventure. This place is incredibly interesting. And uh, now I gotta get back to the car. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below and have a good rest of your day.